can. Big changes coming to how you watch your favorite animated movies. But first, the scent of marketing. How your sense of smell influences how you shop. That's at the top of our list right now. Product placements, billboards, jingles, ringtones, clothing covered with logos. In all the jumble, you may not realize marketers are also targeting your nose because they know if you open your nostrils, you'll open your wallet. How they're using their scents to get your dollars at the top of our list. Scent is the latest way marketers are manipulating you to open your wallet. So our sense of smell is the most powerful of the senses. The right scent can affect how you feel. That's why businesses are using it to draw you in. But first up, what exactly is scent marketing? So when a business thinks about the look or about the sound of their environment, they're not necessarily thinking about the smell. That's where companies like Scent Air come in. They're one of the leaders in scent marketing, and marketing manager Kristen Payne says you've probably experienced their handiwork. We sent the largest retailers such as Kenneth Cole, we sent hotels such as Weston and JW Marriott, as well as fitness such as Anytime Fitness, and even large sports arenas and venues such as the Sacramento Kings or the St. Louis Rams before they moved to LA. That's right, even arenas have their own special scent. The Sacramento Kings added Black Orchid in their luxury areas to enhance fans' experience, which leads to the next step, how are smells chosen? So we have drams here with the blotter. Scent experts will give clients different fragrances to choose from. And they just waft it in front of their nose and get a sense of what it smells like and picture that in their business and decide if that's how they want their customers to feel when they walk through the door. Some scents are relaxing and others are invigorating. Mandalay Bay uses coconut spice in their Vegas hotel to create a more tropical feel and gyms focus on freshness for their scent so you're ready to work out. And the last step, how does scent marketing work? When a guest walks into any Western hotel throughout the world, it smells the same no matter where they are across the globe. That signature scent helps with customer satisfaction, and some retailers are using scent to sell their products. They will use our scent delivery systems to really enhance the entire store so that it smells just like that perfume or that cologne that they're trying to promote. You aren't just looking at perfumes, you're subtly smelling it throughout the store. So next time you catch a whiff of a certain aroma, it could be scent marketing. And that's on the top of the list. Another thing that's infiltrated our lives, technology. It's in our phones, it's in our cars, and now it's even in our swimming pools. We're jumping in head first with some fun, practical, and potentially life-saving pool gadgets on The Breakdown. Hitting the pool is a blast. Floats, toys, and fun. But if you want an extra layer of safety, check out the first gadget on our list, the Kinji. It's a personal flotation device you wear on your wrist. It's fast to deploy, durable, and contained within a compact design. Kinji helps in case of exhaustion or heavy currents, or when there's poor circulation or cramps. Kinji stresses that this is not a replacement for a life preserver or being able to swim, but it does help you get to the surface. This thing is honestly amazing. I'm putting all my weight on it, and it's going to hold me up. It's reusable and works with readily available CO2 canisters, and has a built-in whistle. And if somebody needs to find me, they'll find me. It goes for about 90 bucks on the Kinji website. At number two, we're staying up top with the Sea Window Tortuga Snorkel Float. It's available on Amazon for $45. This has a magnifying window to help me see what's lurking beneath. Like a shark in my pool. Yep, that mini shark is swimming to number three on our list. The remote controlled mini shark is a blast and won't cost you an arm and a leg. It's $16 on Amazon. We'll end our list on a high note with the Appy water resistant speaker. It's 40 bucks on Amazon. It has a splash proof safety rating, also known as an IPX number. So this is rated an IPX6, which means you can splash it, but don't dunk it. We're getting our geek on, having fun, and staying safe on The Breakdown.
But we also don't want to drown in fat, which is why a lot of chefs are making over American classics like burgers, steak, and mac and cheese to appeal to our modern taste for lighter cooking. Here are three of our favorite eateries for tradition with a twist across America. In Phoenix, Arizona, foodies flock to the Tap House Kitchen, where Chef Patrick Marcus uses only the best local ingredients for his chicken and dumplings with an Americana twist. These are the dumplings potato gnocchi, which makes it a little bit different than a, your traditional uh, chicken and dumpling. And it's the gnocchi that makes this a lighter version of the American classic. Mm. Comfort food at its best. Yeah. I can definitely taste the gnocchi. And you got the roasted chicken in there, a nice little tang from the mustard and the white wine. And yeah, I mean, it's just, you got so many different flavors going on. Locals and visitors heading for a friendly family place have put the Tap House Kitchen on the map, a go to spot for familiar favorites with a twist on taste. Heading on down to San Antonio, Texas, you'll find a meat lover's paradise at Cured. Chef Steve McHugh is always in search of the best stock from local farms. Some hog legs from ground. Land Oasis. To complement the meat selections, he adds locally grown produce from the weekly farmer's market. I'm not the genius in the equation here. I'm the guy that takes a really good piece of meat or a really beautiful tomato or a great cauliflower and put it on a plate. But his customers might tell you he's quite the genius. For McHugh, it's all about being open to new ingredients that open the door to exciting new possibilities. As you head over the Gulf to Tampa Bay, you'll find new American cuisine that celebrates our Native American heritage at Eulalie Restaurant. This earth-to-table model includes American tradition with updated interpretations. It's a fresh from Florida pompano that's pan seared with a little white wine served with our house rice. Owner Richard Gonsmart has created a place the Native American princess who once lived on these shores would be proud to call home. Three great American restaurants celebrating tradition with a new American spin across America. A watch will make sure you're on time to dinner, but a smart watch? That'll make the reservation and tell you what dish to order. Sales of what started out as fitness trackers have exploded. So let's look at three different intelligent timepieces to set your life by on the stylist. Hey, what's up? The traditional wristwatch is giving way to high technology as smartwatch sales soar. Here are three smart wearables we're watching right now. First up, Apple Watch 2. The new Apple Watch Series 2 now has built-in GPS, water resistance to 50 meters, and is a bit more durable. It packs a brighter display so you can carry your all-day assistant on your wrist without straining your eyes. It sells for around $370 and is available online and in stores. Second smartwatch, the Samsung Gear S3. The Gear S3 comes out of the box looking good for any adventure. Yeah, mommy says that we need uh, some milk. The Gear S3 sets you free from your smartphone with a twist of the bezel. The built-in speaker also lets you take or make calls without touching your phone. Hi, I just got your email. The Gear S3 starts at around 350 bucks. The third smartwatch we've got our eyes on, the LG Watch Sport. Okay, Google, what's my heart rate? LG breaks out of the pack with the first watch to run Android Wear 2.0. What's that mean? The upgrade adds new features like using Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cellular without your smartphone. Navigate the menus with the bezel and stream music using cellular LTE. Play some jazz. The LG Watch Sport starts at around $250. To learn more about these smartwatches, go to thelisttv.com. Wearing the watch of the future on the stylist. All right, looks like it's time to let it go with those Disney Netflix binge-watching sessions. Yeah, that's right. Disney's ditching the streaming giant in order to compete with them. And that's our first story trending now. This is no time to be hysterical. It's the perfect time to be hysterical. Should we be hysterical? Now. Yes. Maybe, but not right now. All right, everyone, calm down. Here's what you've got to know. Moana, Finding Dory, and the rest of the Disney content currently on Netflix will be going away, though not till 2019, so the kids can still watch everything until it's burned into their brains. Hang in there, guys! 
Then you'll be able to watch all of that and future content on Disney's new streaming service. Yeah, no word on price yet, but I'm hoping the admission they charge at their parks isn't a clue. Oh, totally sick! Isn't it great? No! I'm gonna be totally sick! Now a story that'll make parents feel totally sick. Kids like devices more than they like other humans. That's it, number two. Surprise! According to new research published in The Atlantic, more and more kids and teens are choosing to live their lives digitally, talking to friends via text, on Snapchat, that kind of thing, rather than actually leaving home and hanging out in person. Conversation. The way it should be. I mean, we could debate the pros and cons of this for days, but just remember, folks, using any kind of device to watch The List is great. Our app, YouTube, Roku, take your pick. Definitely, but when our show's done, maybe talk to someone face-to-face. -face. It, it's nice. It's nice. Or better yet, take someone to this incredibly cheesy restaurant. We have it, number three. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking there should be a restaurant devoted to all things Cheetos, then yes, you are thinking what he's thinking. That looks delicious. Next Tuesday through Thursday, there will be a Cheetos pop-up restaurant in New York called The Spotted Cheetah. Yep, Cheetos-infused appetizers, entrees, desserts. Forget your diet cheat day and have a Cheeto day. <laughs> Head to thelisttv.com right now for our Cheetos-covered donut recipe, which is surprisingly delicious. Yum, I guess, maybe? That's what's trending now. Now on the list, three home hacks to beat the heat. One, lower utility bills. Air conditioning costs less at night, so blast your AC in the PM and run it warmer during the day. Two, the direction of your fan. Make sure they're all turning counterclockwise. Three, the right home decoration. Heavy rugs and leather couches trap heat, so swap them out with sisal or seagrass mats and put linen or cotton covers on your furniture. For more trends, deals, and life hacks, go to thelisttv.com. Get this, Gogurt is known as Yoplait tubes in Canada and Froobs in the UK. No matter what you call it, you'll love these Gogurt ads with these adorable little kids in old man makeup. Get a job. You believe this guy? Plus, the connection between left hands and allergies. Five things you didn't know about lefties. And the best ways to spoil your dog. Stay tuned, there's more coming up on the list. Comic books are having a moment, that's just an understatement. Even Netflix acquired a comic book company. But if you're not a superhero fan, you can at least enjoy the craze. The golden age of comics is on the hot list. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. First up, The Nightmare Before Christmas is getting a sequel, but don't look for it in theaters. This sequel is coming to a comic book near you. Ah, you're joking! You're joking! I can't believe my ears! You better believe it. The next installment of the Tim Burton story will be a manga series from Tokyo Pop, the same company that did Beauty and the Beast manga style. Nightmare Before Christmas, Zero's Journey will center on the ghostly pup finding his way home. Look to catch up with the gang in the spring of 2018. Eureka! The next comic invader is a little creepier, Goosebumps. Hello, I'm R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. You're not R.L. Stein. I am. The spine-tingling series has already gone from books to TV to a movie. Tonight is gonna be the best story you've ever written. And now comic books. The first one, Monsters at Midnight, is out in October. All my friends in one place. I've never been so happy. Also turning into comic books, the murder mystery board game Clue. That's number three. Make your accusation to see if you've solved the mystery. The beloved game first came to life in the 1985 movie by the same name. Let us in, let us in, let us out, let us out! It'll now be unleashed in a six-issue comic book miniseries by IDW Publishing. However, there are three different ends to the first one alone, so be careful which cover you pick up. There were three more murders. The most and finally, to a comic book writer you may not expect, Anthony Bourdain. He's at number four. How does one drink rum here? Rum and coke. Well, well, we'll mess it up a little coke for <laughs> The culinary bad boy takes us on taste adventures in his series Parts Unknown. Man, good meal. There's more clams? 
Just right over here, my friend. And he is looking to take us on another adventure, this time with a comic book he is writing called Hungry Ghosts. This isn't his first run of comics. He did a graphic novel called Get Jiro. Look for it to hit shelves in January. It looks even prettier than it looked last time. Comic relief on the hot list. Now let's take a left turn and talk about left-handers. Sunday is National Left-Handed Day, so let's look at five things you didn't know about Southpaws. I know something you don't know. And what is that? I am not left-handed. Just like Inigo Montoya in The Princess Bride, if you're not a lefty, you may not know these five things. First, there's a long history of left-handedness having a negative connotation. The saying, left-handed compliment, is an insult, and the phrase getting up on the wrong side of the bed comes from putting your left foot down first. <sighs> Plus, look at the word's derivatives. In English, it comes from the word lift, which means weak. In French, it comes from gauche, meaning awkward. There's even a word for the fear of left-handedness called sinistrophobia. <laughs> Next, and you may want to close your eyes for this one. Thank you. It turns out lefties are more affected by fear. A Scottish study found that left-handed people had more PTSD-related symptoms than righties after watching a clip from The Silence of the Lambs. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. Third thing you didn't know about lefties, they may be smarter than their right-handed counterparts. Take lefties Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Leonardo da Vinci, Aristotle, and Albert Einstein, just to name a few. Thank you. And according to High IQ Society Mensa, 20% of their members are left-handed. That's double the worldwide average. Mensa members are a curious bunch with an insatiable appetite for knowledge. Next, lefties are more likely to have allergies, <laughs> migraines, and be insomniacs probably because they're staying up late thinking about their next world-changing idea. And finally, while most humans tend to be righties, parrots lean to the left. Yep, researchers found that these birds are left side dominant, most often using their left feet to pick up food. That's five things you didn't know about lefties. Thursday is National Spoiled Dog Day. Did you know one of the most expensive dog houses, Samsung's Dream Dog House, is worth about 30,000 bucks? They gave it away to a lucky dog via a social media contest. We asked the list fans on Facebook to send in photos of the best ways to spoil your pet. And you haven't disappointed. Our favorite answer so far, let them order a pizza, pick the right accessory, and take time to smell the flowers. What would your answer be? Go to the list's Facebook page right now. Welcome back, everybody. Now, nobody likes a party crasher, especially at a wedding. So true, unless it's a celebrity, of course. On today's Buzz List, Teresa Strasser is showing us celebrity wedding crashers. Teresa. Thanks, guys. All right, I couldn't believe it, but celebs crashing weddings is a thing as you will see on the buzz list. And when they do, it is very, very sweet. All right, here we go. Coming in at number three, Serena Williams, the 35-year-old tennis star, has a record 23 Grand Slams, and she is slamming it in these photos of her embracing a bride and groom at their beach wedding as an uninvited guest. She rocked that leopard print swimsuit, made their day, and uploaded the pics to her Insta. Fierce on the court and at the beach. Moving on to number two, Taylor Swift. The 27-year-old pop star with 10 Grammys under her belt did something her fans will never, ever, ever forget, popping in at their wedding. She also uploaded these photos to her Instagram. Word is, she even sang at the reception. That is so sweet. And coming in at number one, a guy everyone would want walking in on their wedding, Tom Hanks. You know, a wedding is like a box of chocolates. You never know who's going to show up. The 61-year-old two-time Oscar winner stopped by this couple's wedding in Central Park and was happy to post the photo onto his Instagram with the caption, Elizabeth and Ryan, congrats and blessings, Hanks. What a charmer. For more celebrity wedding crashers, head on over to thelisttv.com. And that's our buzz list.
Now on the list. Turn your favorite ale into a delicious beer cheddar cornbread. One, mix your eggs, butter, milk, sour cream, and a pale ale. Two, mix your cornmeal, flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt in a separate bowl. This will prevent clumping. Three, put it together in a pan, add bacon, and top with cheese. And four, bake it for 35 minutes at 375, then dig in. For more trends, deals, and life hacks, go to thelisttv.com. Want to binge watch the list? Stream us on Roku. Access more trends, deals, and life hacks on TV's number one streaming device. Add the list to your Roku now. On the next list. One, ditch the debit. Three reasons why never using your debit card will pay off big. Two, bring back the print photos. Easy ways to get your pics from the phone to the frame. I want to see if that works. And three, charge your phone with your shoes. Cool footwear for the future. All that on tomorrow's list. If you've ever said, when I was your age, or kids today, or get off my lawn, you'll love this video of fourth graders living that mindset on the viralist. Hi guys, get a job. Can you believe this guy? Can you believe how good these kids look in old age makeup? Welcome to the future, Tim. Fourth graders Tim and Charlie appear in a series of new Gogurt ads, looking down on how easy all those lazy third graders have it. In our day, we actually had to walk and take steps. It made us who we are. You've got to see our favorite ads of theirs, and we've got them for you on thelisttv.com. Hippies. Grumpy in grade school on the viralist. That is some serious method acting right there. You know, those kids remind me of a grumpy dude on my block growing up that never gave anyone candy on Halloween. I live on your block. Are you talking about me? <clears throat> uh, no, not at all. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.